stick around to see these adorable crafts that we have for you from this twinerific book. And guess what guys, the authors are four year old twins. So you do not want to miss these unique creations I have for you. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back. It is Cheryl, the activity author, and I am here to bring you some more book-inspired crafts for the week. Now, before we get into it, don't forget to like this video because I know you're just going to love this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you know every time that I post. And hey, you gotta hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified, so click that notification bell as well. Also guys, follow me on Instagram because you know I have a lot of quick craft ideas and tutorials on there. And right now we are focusing on Halloween. So we got a lot of cute little Halloween crafts that you guys can do in under five minutes. So definitely follow me, Activity Author, on Instagram and uh, you will not be disappointed. So before we get into our crafts today, I want to tell you more about the books that inspired all of this. So. Today's book is called Twin Tales, Alike and Different, and it was written by Brielle and Nadia Duperville. I love that last name. It's so cute. But guys, guess what? Not only are Brielle and Nadia just the most adorable four-year-old twin sister authors you'll ever meet, they are best friends. You heard me right, best friends. And their love for reading inspired them to write their own book at only four years old. Oh my goodness, right? <laughs> so this book is inspired by true life events about the twin sisters revealing what makes them unique. Now they might look alike on the outside, but you know they are oh so different on the inside. And that is what this book is all about. An enduring story of siblings who share a strong bond that parents will appreciate and children will love. I especially love the illustrations and how whimsical they look. I also love that this book teaches kids what twins are and they also focus on similarities and differences. So if you want to check out more about this book, please visit my description box. All the information on this book and the authors are in there. Also check out their book bundles. They have some flashcards. They got it all, child. So definitely go to that description box right now. Click on those links, follow our authors, and check out this book. You will not be disappointed. Very, very, very cute and adorable read. So shout out to our authors, the lovely Brielle and Nadia Duperville. And without further ado, we are gonna go ahead and jump into these awesome ideas I have for you today. So let's go. So of course we gotta start out with a twin craft. I mean, it is a twin book. So we're gonna go ahead and do some twin paper dolls. Go ahead and take a sheet of construction paper and you're gonna fold it in half just like this. And then you're going to also fold them two more times. So you're gonna take the front page, you're gonna fold it back like this. And then you're gonna flip it around and fold it like this. So you basically should have um, up to three folds on your paper. So go ahead and take a pencil and sketch out whatever shape you want your doll to look. I'm just gonna do a basic shape of a girl doll, but you can do guy dolls if you have sons. Whatever your child wants to do, you're going to do that, but just don't cut the fold, okay? Please don't do that, because it will ruin the entire idea of this craft. So go ahead and have an adult cut it out, and if your child is able to cut it out themselves, have them cut it out as well. And if you follow me, your doll should look like this. You should have four in your, your bundle. Now cut them in half. We want twins, not quadruplets. <laughs> and now you're gonna have your child decorate it the way they want. So they can use some markers to decorate 
or they can glue on some pom-pom balls or whatever have you i just wanted to make mine look very opposite just because that's what the book is focused on so one plays basketball and one's really girly and they're <laughs> got some yarn here for some fun but you guys can do whatever you want like sky's the limit on this let me show you one more idea you can use with some streamer paper And this way is very, very good for children that are two and up because they can just apply the paper to the glue and they can still participate. So this one um, covers a multitude of age ranges. So you guys customize it however it best fits you. But I think this is an adorable craft and so fun to do. So let's go ahead and move on to our next craft. So the book really focuses heavily on best friends. So I figured the next set of crafts will be focused on best friends. So we're gonna make a friendship bracelet. And you wanna go ahead and start out with a loop. Now I made my loop entirely too big. So make your loop <laughs> half the size of what I did. I'm just trying to make it big enough so you guys can see for demonstration purposes, but your loop does not need to be really big, just enough for like, you know, a, a finger to go through the hole. But that's how you do it. You start out with a loop like this and then you anchor it down. You can either tape it to the table like this and have kids do it that way. Or you can just kind of like tie it to a pole or whatever you have around you. So we are going to go ahead and switch gears to a braiding tutorial. So you're going to start with your four legs of your string or whatever you're using, your yarn. And you're going to take that outside string, like how y'all have that white string. You see how I put it in the inside. Then I'm going to put the left string in the inside. Then I'm going to get this green string on the outside and put it in the inside. So you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way until you get the desired length that you want. And then you're going to tie a knot and you are basically done. Now, this is how I'm going to tie my knot. I'm going to take one of the strings. I'm going to loop it around my finger and the friendship bracelet. And I'm going to just go through one time like this. And I'm actually going to loop it twice just to secure it. So do it twice and you should be good. This should not be coming undone. Cut the excess off and there you have it. A cute, adorable friendship bracelet. Now, you, you don't have to stop here. You can add beads. You can add um, any type of decorations you want. Also wanted to add a unique way for you guys to explain the braiding process to kids is just tell them to always have two strings on the left side and one string on the right side and one string in the middle. So you're always crossing it over into the middle. So two strings on the left, one on the right, okay? Um, and if you are beading your craft, you are wanting to use a pipe cleaner like this, just a short piece and you can loop it around that loop and feed the beads on it that way. That's a cool way for you to add some beads on this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and continue on with that friendship theme. I have another piece for you guys with some foam sheets this time. So you know how they say that puzzle pieces look alike, but they're all uniquely different. That's what kind of inspired this one. So with the twin theme, um, you know twins, how they're different. We are going to make our own puzzle pieces. So you guys can design whatever shape you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and just make a random shape of a puzzle piece. Um, and you just want to make sure that, you know, it's not too big. I got these foam sheets from Dollar Tree, so they already come um, in this unique size. And I like the size because it's kind of perfect for the actual um, craft we're going to do right now with these puzzle pieces. So now that you've drawn out your puzzle shape, you're going to cut that out. 
and I'm actually going to use the other side that does not have the markers so it looks nice and clean. You can put whatever you want on there. I just went ahead and just put best friends for now. They can put you can put the kids' names on it. Like if they're best friends, you can put Allie and Sarah, whatever you want. <laughs> and then of course, if you want to add beads, my my cool little technique I just showed you, pipe cleaner, tie it around, use it as a needle, fish your beads on. I love having beads on this too because it weighs it weighs it down so that it actually hangs like a nice necklace. Um, foam sheets are very light so if you don't have any weight to it you might want to add some beads or something a little heavy to it as well. And that turned out so cute. So guys, this one is a definitely must do. I would suggest this one. And ages, well, any age could handle it. If you want younger kids to do this one, I would just prep the puzzle piece first and just let them decorate. All right, the last craft I'm gonna show you guys is painting rocks. Cause you know, who doesn't like to paint rocks? So I'm gonna come at this with my rocks already pre-painted. Um, I have one coat of paint on them already. Um, you can paint as many coats as you want or any design you would like, or you can glue on beads and pom-pom balls. So I'm gonna actually decorate a few of these to give you guys some ideas on how you can decorate, but sky is the limit. Using Sharpies, brushes, you can even use washable Crayola markers on this. You really can. So if you use the paint that I'm using, this paint right here, yeah, you'll be able to use some washable Crayola markers. So that is awesome. So just a little tip before we leave this video. Um, if you are doing this at an event, if Nadia or Brielle, or if y'all are listening, if y'all want to do this at a, a vendor event, don't forget to put your website on the other side of the rock. So when people are decorating their rocks, they can remember this came from you and they know who to look up and contact for more information. So I hope you guys enjoyed these awesome crafts that I have for you today. They were very unique and creatively made. So I hope that you guys can make them. Please tag me on Instagram to any creations that you make. I always love to celebrate your children and I love celebrating their artwork. Also, don't forget to drop down in the description box right now and check out our featured authors today and their book, Twin Tales, Alike and Different. So... Thanks again for watching the video all the way to the end. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more quick crafts. And guess what? There are some videos right here for you right now to continue watching so you can continue the fun. So click on one of these videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye.